you're new to the Predator, loaded it up for the very first time, and now you notice that it's not actually taking any trades. So what gives? In this video, we're going to tackle this pretty common question that we get from a lot of the newer members, and it should hopefully help you guys get started in actually taking trades with the Predator X. So first of all, a little bit of a background to help us understand what the Predator is and what it can actually do. So the Predator is a multi-purpose order entry and management tool. It has many, many different functions. Every trader is going to use it a little bit differently. And what I mean by this is the Predator has functions to help you fully automate your trading. So if you wanted to build a full auto trading bot, it has many built-in options to help you do just that at the click of a button. And you can even use it to automate many of your favorite third-party indicator signals. The Predator is also an excellent semi-auto trading tool. You can use it for precise and fast order executions based on any entry conditions that you define. And on top of that, you also have a ton of options for custom manual orders and breakout entries as well. Now, not everyone is going to use every single function that the Predator offers, and that's okay. This tool was designed as a direct product from user requests from members within our community. It's a tool that has been built up over the last few years. The goal with this tool is to help as many different traders as possible with their order entry and management. And we're not stopping there. It's going to continue evolving. We already have a ton of updates planned that will be released very soon. And we will continue making improvements after that that all of our lifetime members will always have access to. But with that said, the purpose of this video is that I want to make sure that everyone trying out the Predator has a chance to actually make the most out of it, that it's actually taking the trades that you need. In this video, we are not going to go into specifics of how each separate function works. We have a full user guide on our website that explains every function in a lot more detail, and many of them have videos to go along with it as well. This video rather is going to be more of a general how-to slash troubleshooting if you find that the Predator is not entering orders when you need it to. So with that, let's go over these few tips. So in this video, we're going to go over some tips for the manual entries first, because they're a little bit more straightforward and easier to work with. And then after, I'm going to go over a few tips for the auto entries to ensure that we are actually taking trades. But before we do that, let's just start with the basics first. I'm going to go into the properties, and I just wanna mention this first. If you're ever in a situation where it's just not taking any trades and maybe you changed around a bunch of the settings inside the properties, it's almost always better to just go down to the lower right hand corner, click on the templates and click reset. This will reset all of your settings back to default. So just for the sake of simplicity, especially if you're new to the Predator, just reset that template and then rebuild it one by one to ensure everything is working as it should. The next important tip is any order entered by the Predator is going to be managed by whatever we type into the order management section. So under 04 order management, Anything we do in here, whether we're doing a manual or an auto entry order, they're all going to have the same order management. So for an example for this video, I'm just going to set my stop at the high or the low of the previous bar. I'm going to set two profit targets and I'm going to change this to a risk to reward of one and risk to reward of two for my second target. I'm just going to keep it simple. Again, we have a full user guide up here that explains how to customize your entire order so it does exactly what you need it to. But I'm just going to keep it like this for the sake of the video. Now for the third and final tip, I always recommend testing on playback first before you load it on a live account. This is just going to help you see how it actually takes trades while it's running in real time. So anything that we set up, just run it on playback for at least a little while so you can see how it actually takes trades. And when you are running it on playback or a live account, just make sure your order fill resolution is set to standard. And then under controls, make sure show historical trades is off. You only change those when you want historical backtesting. But for this video, we're concentrating on the actual entry orders during real time. So we're just going to have these off for now. But once we have that, let's enable it on our chart and we're going to go over the manual entries. Our manual orders are set using these buttons up here. So your buy high, sell low, enter long, enter short. How these work is if you push these enter long or enter short buttons, 
they're going to submit an order immediately. So as soon as you push them, they're just going to submit any order you said within the order management section. Let me just remove those so it cleans things up. So the enter long, enter short, enter you immediately. You also have an eye icon, and this is just going to place an entry and a stop line on your chart. You have many different options. Again, I'm not going to go into all of them, but these options are going to help define where these lines are set. But with these lines, you can move your stop around wherever you want. So let's say I want to set my stop down here. Then we have the option to use that enter long, and then it's going to submit your stop exactly where we set that line, and then any order management on top of that. Then you also have the option for the buy high. And when this is pushed, it's going to activate this order. So as soon as the price touches this line, it's going to enter a trade. So let me just speed this up a little bit. So it will keep your order there. As soon as it touches that line, it submits the order. So that is the basic rundown on how these manual entry orders work. Now, one of the most common reasons on why these manual entries might not be taking trades is from users having these options up here selected. I do see this quite often. And the reason why it's not taking trades and because these are going to delay your order until specific conditions are met. Again, see the guide, I have a full explanation. I even have short videos on how all of these work. But just as an example, the on bar close option is only going to submit an order once the actual bar closes. So once that closes, it's going to submit the order. So I see this often, somebody pushes the button, it doesn't take the order right away. That's because it's just waiting for the bar to close. And on top of that, you can also combo all of these. So essentially it won't enter until the bar closes and it closes as a green candle. And it's also a breakout. So the more boxes you check, the tighter your criteria is going to be in order to actually submit an order. So just make sure if the manual entries are not taking trades, just make sure all of these are unselected first try again it should submit that order right away and if you want to start customizing your manual orders even more just go to the user guide read up on what these options do and it's going to help you understand all of this a lot better so that just about covers the manual entry troubleshooting like i said very straightforward but now let's go to our auto entries because there are a few more steps in there all right auto entries if you want the predator to automatically take trades for you they must be selected within the O2B auto entry section before we enable the Predator. The Predator comes with a bunch of pre-built options that you can choose from. You can even automate some custom signals. But for this example, I'm just going to use a pre-built auto entry. So how the auto entries work is anything that you select, once the Predator detects that entry condition, is going to submit that order that we defined under the order management section. So for this example, I'm going to use the show inside bar button. And when it comes to auto entries, there are really two main reasons why it may not be taking any trades. So the first one is there are no auto entries selected. So as an example, once we open up this inside bar, in order to actually take the trades, we have to enable the trade inside bars. And this is what's actually going to tell the predator, once you see this condition, enter the order. And of course, we can customize any options to define our inside bar. I'm just going to leave it as default. But just know, this is the main thing. Once you open up the auto entry that you want, you must tell the predator that you actually want to trade it. And this option is also available once you enable the predator. So let's hit apply. And I'm going to enable it. Any auto entry that you select is going to show up on the top right hand corner. So if the box is white, that means that auto entry is enabled. It's looking for that trade. Once it detects it, it's going to submit the order. If you click it, it turns transparent. That means it's off. That means it's still looking for an inside bar, but it's not going to take that inside bar entry. So always, always, always make sure this is turned on. And then once it's enabled, make sure we look at our chart trader panel over here. Make sure the auto on button is turned on. Again, if it's transparent, that means it's off. It's not going to take trades. 
Also, make sure the long and the short are on. You can choose which direction you want the predator to take trades. But if you just want to take any direction, make sure both of these are enabled. If they are both off, it's not going to take any trades. If just the short is on, it's only going to take short trades. And same thing with the long. If only the long is on, it's only going to take long trades. So again, very common scenario. Just make sure these are enabled. These are your auto entry controls. This is what's going to allow your auto entries to take place. So once all of these are enabled, let's just hit play. And then once it detects an inside bar, so it's going to be one of these colored bars. Keep this up a little bit, all right? So here it's taking one. So once it detects that inside bar, it submits our order exactly how we defined it. So that's all that is. That's how you can take auto entries. Let's go over one more method that's very common on why it may not take trades. So back into the properties. The second most common reason on why the predator may not be taking trades is when it comes to over filtering. The predator has many built-in options to help you filter and reduce the number of trades your bot is taking. So this includes things like moving average filters that are easily available at just the click of a button. You have a bunch of other indicator filters as well, like RSI, ADX, Supertrend. And on top of that, you also have a bunch of additional filters. And these include things like your time filters, any PNL limits, like realized profit, kill switches, how many trades you can take in a day. Everything is available at the push of a button. But just know I do see this quite often. Newer members will just start clicking every single option where it may not be needed. And it ends up over filtering your bot to the point where it just doesn't allow it to take any trades because the conditions to actually enter the trade can never be met with these many options. So just make sure if you are using any one of these options, just go to the user guide quickly, read up on how it works, how it will affect your trade, and how you can customize it to fit your needs. So like I mentioned earlier, what I recommend if you do get to a scenario like this where you have a whole lot of options selected and you don't know what everything does, just head to the templates, hit that reset button, and it's going to reset your entire template to the default settings. So it's going to be a lot easier to rebuild everything. So again, from here, just select any options that you want, any other order management, and then just any additional filters that you want. Again, it's always best to just start with a simple template. The Predator can be a very, very simple tool to use. We try and organize everything as much as we can, but the Predator can also be a very complex tool depending on how many settings you're using. So just take it step by step, especially when you're first starting out and first learning how to use the Predator. And of course, if something is not fully answered in our user guide, feel free to send me an email at support at tradesaber.com or better yet, join us on Discord, ask questions in there. I'm usually around a pretty unhealthy amount, but I'm always happy to answer any questions that you have. But I think I'm going to cut the video here. I hope you guys found this video useful in helping troubleshoot your order entries when it comes to the Predator. There is a free trial for the Predator on Discord. Make sure you guys check it out. But as always, take care. Enjoy.